The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Okay, guys. Hello, hello, hello. We're starting a little bit early. Just gonna let everybody come into the room. I'm just um, setting everything up to make sure that everything looks good on live as well as on GoTo, so that we are broadcasting on all channels. Um, feel free to uh, pop me questions in the question box if you want, or in um, in GoTo, or in um, no, just in GoTo and in YouTube Live. I'm actually not going to be looking, um, not looking in um, in our Discord because, uh, you know, because not everybody is in our Discord. So uh, first of all, just let me know if you guys are hearing me okay. If you guys see the uh, the screen okay, um, in uh, GoTo. If you guys are are hearing it, let's, let me know. I know there's a lot of, uh, it's very early. We're like 10 minutes early, but I'm just kind of double checking everything, making sure that uh, it's all working fine. Let me make sure that I'm gonna go to our channel. And, okay, I'm on my channel. Looks good. Okay, let's see if you guys are seeing me. Hi. Um, Martin, hi, all good? You guys hear me okay? Sound is good? Um, I'm actually not on video right now. Maybe uh, I'll go on video in a, in a couple of minutes. I just wanna make sure the sound is good, screen is good, everything is fine. All good, you guys hearing me on, on YouTube, wonderful. Um, Nobody is uh, confirming to me on GoTo. Come on, in GoTo, just uh, make sure that you guys hear me in GoTo. You should be. I guess I, I'm imagining you, if you're seeing me on YouTube, you must be seeing me on GoTo. Just in the GoTo access. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Haru. Okay. All right, we've got 10 minutes. We're chilling. Um, why don't you, if you know, you guys want to tell me where, you, where you're coming from? Because um, I actually, that's a relevant question. I'm, I'm going to hopefully give you some strategies for everywhere you are in the world. We're going to discuss all of that as we uh, as we get into the story. But just want you type either in in YouTube or in um, go to where you are now. What time of the day it is now? What time it is to you? You can do it in 24 hour clock. I'm European. I know how to read them. So right now to me it's um, 18:50 New York time. Um, just the beginning of the evening. What's it? Uh, what time is it for you? And where are you guys located? I'm in the, I'm in New York, obviously. Where are you guys uh, coming from? Singapore. So Singapore, it must be. Is it 6:50 in the morning? Is it that early? And what is it? What is it in Nigeria? Uh, what time is it in Nigeria? Oh my God! It's 3 a.m. in Dubai. Are you serious? Oh, look at you guys. You guys really, really are committed. Uh, UK is 10.50, right? Yes, I know. I have London time on my watch. So um, 11.50 Africa time. All right. Well, I, I promise you, I promise you, you guys are staying up late. This is really going to be worth it. I'm going to show you some very, very cool things. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys will really, really enjoy it. Um, wow. Thank you for, for, for staying up so late and hanging out with me. What a crazy day today, huh? Um, that was, um, that was some ramp. I got to tell you, I, you know, FOMC today was just fascinating, mainly because I don't think anybody, anybody expected the Fed to be coming in dovish into like one of the fastest growing economies we've ever seen in our life. Literally no unemployment, literally nobody to hire. Uh, inflation starting to get up to, you know, three and a half percent. And the Fed is like, yeah, we're going to cut rates. 
I'm like, I'm shocked. I'm really, really shocked. Gold, I don't know if you guys saw it. Gold just blew through 2200. One of the guys in my room just texted me that he was using one of our systems and actually passed the prop test with the, uh, with the gold trade, which is awesome. Really, really good to hear. I always love to hear that. But I mean, it's, it was crazy. Um, I'm literally, literally surprising at how, um, how unbelievably uh, dovish the Fed is. And the interesting question, I think, and you know, we, we, I, I did trading battle earlier today. I know some of you may have seen me. If you haven't seen it, it's, it's a lot of fun. You guys can watch it on replay. Um, and so, you know, and you can take this with a barrel of salt. I don't have any, I don't really have any views on the market because I'm just terrible at long-term calls. But everything in my body, everything just sort of like, you know, instinctually tells me because everybody is so bullish, because we took out 1815 in a NASDAQ, because literally nobody can see any possible way that things can fall. I kind of think we're going to have a correction into next week. Um, you know, it's it's definitely very, very stupid to try to to, uh, to short this thing. But just everything in my body tells me that it's more of a short than it's a long. But NASDAQ is definitely, NASDAQ looks like it wants to go to 20,000. But I just, you know, can it go 1850, 20,000 a straight arrow? Absolutely. Will it? I kind of think maybe not. I think we need a little bit of a breather here. Something, something's got to break. Um, you know, the uh, market is just really, really frothy. But it is, uh, um, it is, it is. Yes, this recording, uh, this recording will, is being recorded right now for like, and everybody who is, who is registered for the webinar is going to get, um, you know, the private version of the recording, but also it will be recorded, you know, it's naturally recorded by, by the stream and it will be, it will be on, um, on the streams. So, um, you know, if, just email me if you, if you need it. Let me put, put our email in, into the chat right now. Anything you need, just email contact. This is, of course, a challenge that I have to, I actually, you're actually making me type. That is truly the most difficult thing in my life. Okay, contactbktraders.com. Here's the, uh, um, you know, here's the thing. This actually just reminds me, I got to do one other thing. It's good that we started early because as usual, I'm like completely unprepared for all the, uh, all the, the inf information stuff. Hang on just one second. Where to, where is this thing? Oh, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Hang tight, hang tight, hang tight. Okay, I got it. All right, all right, all right. good. All right, so we'll, we'll minimize this. I'll have it at my fingertips. We're good to go. I got a lot of very cool stuff to share with you. I think you guys are going to be uh, um, really, really like. Um, 1831, yeah, it's, you know, NAS is like, you know, actually NAS, you know, I'm looking at futures. Futures, futures are around 18, um, 18,500. So um, it's uh, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Uh, so uh, yeah, you know it's uh, it's just crazy day. I mean, I'm just like I'm shocked at uh, at, at how uh, how bullish it was. And you know, obviously, thin markets and gold. Gold taking out 2200, I think, is pretty significant. The key thing is, can it hold? Like, watch tomorrow if. Gold can hold the 2200. That's very, very bullish gold. That means it's really feasible. You know, we can start making those, you know, 2300, 2400 moves to towards the 2500 level. Just on pure momentum alone, I think. Um, yes, Theo, this event is always recorded. Yes, it is definitely being recorded. Um, if you register for the webinar on GoTo, then um, you're going to get a recording. You know yourself if you haven't um then i'll just send just email me and i'll send you the stream you know and also by the way oh let me give this to you know you know what you're going to be able to find the recording this is going to be i'm going to make it super easy for you let me let me just click this link click copy link i'm going to give you the link address if you guys are not part of our free uh, let me see this is probably wrong uh this is just going to be the wrong thing i don't want to just do this no sorry hang on a second space now let me spare with me a second here guys uh copy link address let me see if this works i'm trying to give you my telegram channel no it's not working okay all right this is why i start early so that you can hear me curse 
because that's you know it's not a Boris webinar unless f bombs are flying, right? Um, hang on, let me. I'm just going to do a copy and paste off this thing. Okay, 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 okay. Copy. Oh, come on, baby, copy me. I'm trying to give you guys in um, in um, YouTube chat. Okay, great. Okay, everybody, click that link. This is our absolutely free Telegram channel. Already, uh, more than 1,300 people are in it. Every day, Kathy and I post. There's no commercials at all right there. It's just Kathy and I putting market analysis, market psychology, a um, couple of bids, you know, any bids that we're dropping on the channel. So my point is, if you join that, I guarantee you'll be able to see the uh, uh, the stream because because I'll put the I'll put the copy of the stream. Uh, into that channel. Like, if you are not part of this channel, please do so. Please join me. And everybody, um, where's everybody in GoTo? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna send it to everybody in GoTo as well. Hang on a second. Uh, most of you probably already have this channel, but absolutely join us. It's it's our free BK Telegram channel, um, and we post every single day at least two or three pieces of content in there um, that is market related. Hopefully, you guys. Uh, We'll find it useful. Sometimes I'll post, you know, something. Sometimes I'll say something intelligent on Twitter, and I'll and I'll post it there as well. Um, so the point is that you'll, if you wanted to get the the replay of this thing, you're gonna get it, okay? Plus anything else that you know, any other resources that I can give you. All right. So I'm still waiting. We're still waiting to um, um, to start the show because I want people to start coming in. Um, I'll give it a shot. Anybody have any questions for me? Anything uh, on your mind, um, either in GoTo or in uh, um, in uh, YouTube? Feel free to to post up. Yeah, um, we're gonna make Discord primarily like for customers only. Because Telegram is just much better. Um, that's what the reason we went to Telegram because Telegram has got really great security. So it's just you know it's just really really clean. You know you're gonna get in that channel. All you're gonna get is pure uh, pure commentary from us and stuff like that. Um, oh, I think I got some ping. So some, I got more trades coming in. What's going on over here? Oh, US 30. Oh, I got a US 30 trade. Jesus. All right. Wow, man. Um, okay, a lot of good stuff. I'm going to give you just a couple more minutes, guys, because it's you know I started the uh, uh, the feed early because I wanted to make sure that I had the the YouTube stream going going properly. Um, but um, um, I want to make sure that everybody's coming into the uh, um, into the channel, okay, uh, into the go to right now. So we're going to give it a few few more minutes to uh, to build up. Sound is good, audio is good, chart is good, everything is good. Yes. At one point, I think Nasdaq will roll over. It's a really, really tough question. I mean, I think I think next week we you know we get a little bit of a. I, I don't mean roll over like you know we're gonna we're gonna dive a thousand points, but I think next week we get a little bit of a corrective move. You know, Lewis, how are you? Say hello to me in, in on YouTube. Say hello to me in um, in Go to. Let me get on the. Um, let me get on the, uh, um, what is that? Tony, what's going on? Tony, what's going on over there? Um, hang on a second. I got some, I got some issues with people not having, having an issue with, um, um, okay. Okay. Go to YouTube. Let me just, sorry. Let me just take care of some people here. Tell me, link is not working. I don't know why link is not working. Um, hang on. Okay. That's why it's good to have YouTube as a backup, so we can always uh, we can always uh, stream back. All right, everybody seems to be going to YouTube because something is going on with GoTo. People are telling me the GoTo link is not working. Is that what's going on? 
I don't know what's going on. It's showing me that I'm that I'm streaming, that it's doing a good job. I don't know what's what's happening. Yeah, it seems like people are going get getting off go to. All right, if you guys are if you guys are having a problem, okay, go to YouTube. Man, I don't know what's going on. All right, I'm gonna wait for everybody to get into YouTube. People are having a hard time um, working, saying it's not working. Can you see the screen here? Yeah, I mean it's good. I'm glad. I'm glad that people came in early. I don't know some. You know, this is Kay's not here. She usually takes care of the streaming and the go-to. So I don't know what's happening, and um, I want to make sure that everybody. This is. I mean, it's obviously obviously something is wrong with go-to because people are just not um, not coming into go-to. Uh, let me see if I'm getting if I'm getting some emails. Uh, no, all right, everybody seems to be okay on this. All right, so everybody's on YouTube. You guys are good. Um, Miguel, everybody over there. Okay, you guys hear me? Okay, everybody's awesome. Okay, super, 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 super. Right, let me let me get, just get on camera for one minute. You really don't need to see a lot of me, but let me just um, get on camera for just one minute. No, fucking YouTube. Jesus, why are you asking me stupid questions? Okay. Oh, there we go. I dropped my first F word. Somebody annoyed me. Okay. You guys seeing me on um, on uh, camera? I can't see myself. Oh, there I am. There I am. There I am. I'm looking down. Okay. All right, all right, all right. This is the only time you're going to see me because, you know, uh, I want to. Fo I want you focused on the screen. I want you focused, you know, and I'm not nearly as pretty as Kathy, so you really don't need to see my face all day long. Um, I got a lot to show you. I got a tremendous amount of stuff to share with you. If you've never day traded in your life, I'm going to open up your eyes to some mind-bending statistics and incredible, unbelievable data. So hopefully you guys can all um, – can all join me in this. Let me just make sure guys um, are all good. Um, okay, all good. Okay, everybody's. Um, let me just make sure that everybody's on is connected. I'm gonna get off camera and I'm gonna and I'm gonna start the show in about three minutes just to make sure that everybody uh, everybody's connected. Okay. Um, so let me get off camera. Stop sharing my 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 screen and. Um, are you guys watching on YouTube? Okay. All right. Everybody seems to be uh, um, on YouTube. Okay. All right, good. All right, let's start. Let's start the show. It's all going to be recorded. It's all going to be good. Let's uh, Let's go from there. Okay. Um, welcome to my webinar on my super day trading uh, system. But before we get into anything that we do here at BK, I want to ask you a much deeper, deeper question, which is why should I even day trade? And I'm going to try to answer that question by the following scenario. Almost every one of you, almost every one of you has been taught that the only way to make money in the market is to uh, take a little bit of your savings, put into an index fund, and compound it, right? I mean, everybody's been taught the magic wonder of compounding, right? That seems to be absolutely non-controversial. You know, it's like, like you know, to, to say that's stupid is like saying you hate babies, right? But let me play this scenario. And everything I'm going to show you is 100% mathematically correct because it's not me who who who, uh, who made these numbers. This is all I pulled this all out of a out of a book on risk from a guy who is a physicist. So it's really interesting. So the question I want to ask everybody is: If I'm guaranteed, 100% guaranteed, that I'm going to take a dollar and have it turn into a million dollars, right? So like, it's just basically, well, I'm going to take a dollar next year, it'll be $2, $4, $10, whatever. It's going to compound. And um, through the magic of compounding, 
I'm going to have 20 million, $1 million in 20 years, right? So I'm not going to give you the answer. I'd like you guys to, to, to chat me either in GoTo or in, um, uh, in YouTube. How much money will I have made after 15 years of investing? So every year I'm dropping money, dropping money, dropping money on my, on my target for a million dollars. What am I going to have after 15 years of scrimping and saving? What do you guys think? You want to give me a number? In, uh, in chat, somebody in chat, what do you, what do you want to guess? 100,000, 200,000, 500,000. How much money am I going to have after 15 years if I do this? What do you guys think? Nobody has any answer? $10,000. Mario, come on. 15 years, you're not going to have $10,000. Seriously, you're gonna have like you know two, three hundred thousand dollars, right? I mean, that seems reasonable. You it's like three quarters of the way, three quarters of the way towards your saving path. You're not gonna have ten thousand dollars if you if you're guaranteed to make a million, right? You're not, right? Well, actually, Mario is much more right than you think. Mario is actually completely right because after 15 years, 75% of your saving journey, you got a whopping thirty-two thousand dollars. What that means basically is that 97% of all the benefit of compounding, 97% of all the benefit of compounding comes in the last five years of your investment cycle. I mean, that's pathetic. You know why that's pathetic? It almost basically says that everything you do for the first 15 years of your life while you're saving is utterly useless. You know, it's mildly important, but it's just, you know, in the grand scheme of things, you've, you've managed to save 3% of your target. It's so pathetic that I think it would be utterly morally destructive, right, to most people if they actually thought about this. Um, so compounding is not as, you know, what people like to do is they say, if you do this, by the, end, by the time you're 65, you're going to be to have this much money. What they don't tell you is that by the time you're 55, you're not going to have any money. It's only like in the last 10 years, between 55 and 65, that all your money is going to accumulate. So like, what's the point in a way, you know? Now let me ask you another question, okay? Here's another, here's another really interesting question. So... I'm in the stock market. Stock market can go up or down. We all know that. The stock market can uh, can drop, you know, 50% in a year, no problem. It does it all the time. So year one, it's global financial crisis. It's whatever is happening. Who the hell knows? You know, it's war. It's pandemic. The stock market loses 45%. My investment loses 45%, right? Right? Now, year two, rebound. Rebound. The market rallies. We have huge gains. Everybody who held on to that money is rewarded because we got 55%. We lost 45%, but next year we made 55%. We really are rewarded for being a buy and hold investor. Okay. So my question to you is how much money do you have after year two? Imagine. You had a dollar when you started. How much money do you have after you lose 45, make 55, end of year two? How much money if you started with a dollar? Want to guess? I'll wait a little bit. Mario, you're not allowed to answer questions because you're a plant. You know all the right answers. So you're not, you're not allowed to. The whole point of my questions is I'm supposed to surprise people. Nothing. Apparently, I can't surprise you because you know all the answers. So you're no longer now allowed to answer any of my questions. Um, okay. So Aru says 110. Let me see what you, know, what you guys are saying. Let me see what you guys are saying in uh, um, Chuck saying 110. John is saying 65. 65. John, seriously, 
Come on. Don't have around with me, guys. Be serious. I want, I want true answers. All right. Anyways, the answer is I lose 45. I make 55. I end up with, with 85 cents. 85 cents. I end up with less money than what I started with. I could have effing put the money into a bank and held it in a bank. I'd have more money than the roller coaster ride from 45 minus to 55 plus. How insane is that? How insane is that when you think about the mathematics of that? You know why nobody's feeling that? Nobody's feeling that pain? Because it's just been a straight, straight rally, straight train up. It's just been an elevator ride all the way to the top. But, but um, if you hit a bump, it's a really ugly bump. It's a really, really ugly bump. And that's because the stock market or all financial markets basically follow something called a nonlinear return. And, you know, I don't want to bore you with the technicals, but basically nonlinear returns can make predicting outcomes very challenging. Because um, it's not like, you know, I have a job, I do a good job, I get a raise. I do another good job, next year I get more of a raise. I do a third good job, I get a, um, I get a great raise. Um, um, I, you know, at the end of 10 years, I'm super smart and I'm now making, you know, 200% of my initial job. That's real life, that's linear progression. That's how most people think of how they make money, right? Whereas the stock market is like, I get a job, I have a good year, and then I get fired, and I'm on a, I'm on a, on a plummet for like you know two years, and then I try to recover it, and I'm still behind for a couple of years, and then if I'm lucky and I hit three or four good years of working, I'm back to even, and then if I'm super lucky, okay, now I'm you know I'm back up on my on my gaze. That's non-linear, that's non-linear numbers. They don't nice and neatly add up one after the other they don't do not do that they don't add up nice and neatly one after the other okay it's something called sequence risk and sequence risk is the biggest risk in investing because what sequence risk is i just bit my tongue from from actually cursing but what sequence risk is is the following you retire today you got a million dollars in your in your uh retirement account next year the stock market loses 50 percent of its value now your whole life your whole life savings is only worth five hundred thousand instead of a million right now you can live for the next 30 years and maybe the stock market recovers and so on and so forth but you got to draw money the year after on the 500,000, not on the million. And you gotta draw more money, you gotta draw more money. And the point is, you're taking money out of retirement on a much smaller number than you thought you had, than you thought you had, right? So that's scenario number one, that's sequence risk that bites you in the ass. What everybody has been living right now is the exact opposite. You retire on a million, you, you only wanna take out like, I don't know, 100,000 and the market rallies 25%. So now you've got a million two hundred fifty thousand um, in the bank account, even though you took out a hundred thousand. Now you got more money, you keep withdrawing money, you get more money, you keep withdrawing money, you get more money. That's positive sequence risk. It's beautiful. It's the greatest thing that ever happens. Um, however, it's not the only thing that happens. And when it goes the other way, it's brutal. And nobody tells you this. Nobody tells you this when they're talking about long-term investing. Because this is by far by far the single biggest problem with um, investing. And it's just that we've been in really good times. And um, that is why investing, in my opinion, is not the only thing you should be doing. That's why I am a huge proponent of day trading, which I know it sounds incredibly crazy because like day trading is um, supposedly the most risky and you know gambling thing you could possibly do, blah blah blah, so on and so forth. But my argument is that investing is far more risky if you have, <clears throat> excuse me, 
If you have the uh, whoa. Sorry guys, I just uh, lost my voice for a second there. Investing is much more risky if you have the wrong scenario in front of you. Whereas day trading as a complement, not as a substitution, but as a complement to your retirement or just you know to your life in general, is an incredibly powerful tool that could smooth out all of these issues if you can master those, those skills. Because day trading really gives you the ability to turn investing from a lumpy game of uncertainty into a steady, steady stream of income. Now, that's not just me talking. That's not just me talking. The way you know that day trading can create incredible certainty and steady stream of income is all you got to do is just simply read the financial press. There are two big high frequency shops in the world Citadel Securities and Virtu Financial, right? These are the guys that make markets in almost all the financial instruments in the world. They are high frequency. Um, trading shops. They, what do they do all day long? They're day trading. Okay, they're day trading. So Virtu went public. And when they went public, they had to disclose their performance. Okay. Now, what was shocking to people, remember, this is investing. Nobody in investing makes money every day. Nobody investing makes money every week. Nobody investing makes money every month. Nobody investing makes money every year. Nobody investing makes money sometimes every decade, right? Nobody, not even George Soros, not, not even Paul Tudor Jones, nobody. They all have really, really bad years, uh, bad months, you know, bad weeks, all of them, right? These guys had one losing day out of 1,238 days that they day traded, okay? Fact, fact, no, uh, no joke. I just, you know, what does that mean? That is actually 99.99% consistency. I mean, it's triple digit or, or five digits. I don't even know. You know, it's like this is like airplanes, um, airplane level consistency. That's crazy. That is crazy if you think about this, right? If you have the right systems, that's exactly right. It's exactly right. Lewis is saying if you have the right systems, you can do it. And this is where. I finally start talking to you a little bit about our systems and about our trading. Um, now, obviously, I'm not Virtu. Obviously, I'm not Citadel. I don't have the skills. We don't have the, the power. We don't have that. But we do have very, very viable, really, really terrific day trading systems that have been that we've been trading day in and day out for, for months on end, years on end, as a matter of fact. And that many of my traders in my room have used to run their accounts up or to get funded. As a matter of fact, I just got, just got a notice from, from a guy in my room today. He just got funded, um, you know, this evening um, off of the systems that we use. So before I describe to you the three day trading systems that we use to trade the equity market and a little bit of gold, um, I need to make you understand that there are two fundamental principles that I like to practice before you even you know, know the rules of the systems. This is the philosophy that underlies our systems. So principle number one, which I know is going to be shocking because you guys know how much I love to go short. Principle number one is always be long. Right? Why? Why? Do we want to always be long when it comes to U.S. equities? Well, because U.S. equities fundamentally, statistically, are a 55-45 bet. What that means is 55% of days, they're up. 45% of days, they're down. Again, don't trust my numbers. I got the data. Let me show you. Let me show you. This is from um, Crestmont Research. They update this chart every single year, and every single year it gets more and more insane. Um, this is especially true when you look from 218 onward. So green is the up days, red is the down days. In 219, it was a 60-40 bet. It was insanely, insanely tilted to the upside, right? But 
but, 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 I like to go to the worst decade. The worst decade was the 70s. The 70s was literally the worst decade for equities since the Great Depression. Not in the bull market. That's, you know, so Mario, ha, now I finally got you, Mario. Because, yeah, you could say bull market, you know, this is bull market numbers, right? Um, but if you look at bear market numbers, which is 66 to 82, you're still 51, 49 at worst, at worst. And during the 70s, you're basically 51, 48, right? Just to give you an idea, um, roulette is 51.49, and casinos make a ton of money on a 51.49 spread, right? So yeah, um, you know, would I love to be in a bull market? Absolutely, I want to be in a bull market. Um, you know, is it does it hurt me to be long in a bear market? No, it doesn't hurt me to be long. It's just not nearly as profitable. Okay. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind that I always want to be long. And then the principle number two that I want to kind of put in front of you is that we do not, do not trade one at a time. Meaning I make a trade, I get stopped out, I make another trade. No. Our whole foundation for how we trade is we trade multiple entries. What that means is we're entering a trade at size one, and let's say we get stopped out. Then we wait for the setup to occur again, and now we're going to go size two times two. We get stopped out, doesn't matter. We go size four. So we're always scaling up by factor of two. One, two, four, eight, 16. Five times, five times, okay? That's what we do. We go five times into the move. And after that, we stop. So if you know sort of our foundational trading te technique, let me ask you the following question. Assume you have no edge at all. Not everything I'm going to show you has zero edge. Like it's... It, 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 the the entries that I'm going to show you, they're not any better than random. They're not any better than random, okay? All my great work, all of my analysis, all of my techniques, they're all crap, right? Assume I have, I'm basically a 50-50 trade, even with all my great analysis, right? So if I have no edge, every trade is a 50-50 bet. What happens? What are the odds that I lose five times in a row on a 50-50 bet? The math for that is very, very simple. It's 16. Remember, I said to you, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, right? So the math for that is you take that last final size, 16, times 2, which is 32, and you subtract 1. And basically, you lose 31x. So if, you know, if, you, if, if you're winning 10 points you know, on a one-to-one -one bet, right? You know, I'm always making one-to-one -one bets on the first level. Let's say on the first level, I'm trying to go for 10 points. I would lose 31 times that 10 points, okay? 310 points. So um, if I'm correct, I win 10 points. If I lose, I lose 310 points. That sounds horrible. That sounds really, really bad. However, however, that's one out of 31. Okay, that's the math. However, now assume same scenario. I have no edge whatsoever, but now the coin that I'm flipping the trades that I'm making are a 55-45 bet, right? What are the odds that I'm going to lose five times in a row? That means I get stopped out five times in a row. How many times will I get stopped out five times in a row? And the answer to that is one out of 52, okay? So think about that. The math now becomes really, really simple. With the odds stacked in my favor, only one out of 52 times am I going to get stopped out. So just simple mathematics. I win 10 points. I win 10 points every time I make a trade. So 51 times I'm going to win 10 points. That's 510 points. And then on the 52nd time, I'm going to lose 310 points, right? What does that leave me? That leaves me with 200 net profitable points 
for every 50 trades I take. Do you know how profitable that is, especially if you're taking like 10 trades a day? Do you know how many points you could make doing that? Do you know how well the guys in my room have done just simply adhering to this very, very simple model? And I basically, and I, again, I am saying nothing I'm going to show you has any edge. Imagine if I have even a 5% edge, so now I'm a 60-40 coin because my, is my, because my indicators are just a tiny bit better than chance. They do have some predictive value, right? Then the odds just get even fatter, which is why, you know, guys are getting, getting funded so, so well in my room. So that's the underlying philosophy of how we trade. It's completely different from what everybody else teaches you. We are the insurance company. We are the casino. Everybody else teaches you the lottery way of trading. Bet a dollar, make 10. Bet a dollar, make 100. Well, you've played the lottery. You've all played the lottery. What do you think the chances are of you winning the lottery? They're exactly negative. How many do you think of those one to 10 trades um, are actually profitable. I'll tell you, I've done them. Maybe one out of 50. So you're losing 50 and you make 10. So you're negative 40. Now that's your math. Okay. Nobody ever tells you all the bullshit that they show you in those, you know, those high risk reward trades, what the actual mathematics are. And that's why everybody who follows that, that advice never succeeds in trading, especially not in day trading. Right. So um, understand that the math is on the side of the insurance companies. The math is on the side of the casinos. The math is. Um, um, yeah, yeah. Consecutive times. That's right. The, the idea is stop consecutive times. Right. Mario, that means. Right. I'm basically you know, betting on, on conditional probability with independent states. Yes. Yes. Um, so that's just my point. My point is we trade like the casino. We trade like the insurance company. Those guys have been in business for 300 years and there's a reason. So let me show you the trades that we make, the setups that we have, um, and, then, uh, and then we can discuss all the tools that we have that can really, um, really make your life a lot easier. So the first trade that we trade is something we call big. And this is done on the US 30 and the NASDAQ 100 um, primarily. Only the, the two the two big instruments that I that I traded. So you can also do this on the DAX, but I'm just going to give you I'm going to give you the highlights today of the of the primary trades that we make, right? So um, the trade is done from 6 a.m. New York to 12 noon, with a caveat. I haven't put the caveat in here, but obviously the assumption is if there's a big big market event at 8:30 in the morning, you don't trade that. Honestly, in many ways, you probably could ignore that rule. But generally, I like to wait until until the market event is um, is gone. So on those days, I will start it around after 8:30. So we use the one minute chart, and um, we're basically looking against the one hour trend. We have a proprietary indicator that tells us if the one hour trend is bullish or not. And if the trend on the one hour is not bullish, we got no trades, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. But if the trend is bullish, then all we need, all we need is for the 10 SMA to cross the 100 SMA. We're gonna do nothing more complicated than um, short-term moving average against the long-term moving average on a crossover, because there's gonna be continuity in that market. And we're gonna trade the US 30 with 50, 50 stop, 50 stop, 50 target, and the NASDAQ with a 25 stop, 25 target. Okay. So um, we have not had any big trades in a long time. And it's going to be probably very hard for me to find a few of them, but I'm going to show you. Now, what we have is trading view indicators that I have um, written myself, that I've written myself that. Oh, actually, oh, look at this. No, we had it today. Oh, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. This, this, this will give you a good example. So I wrote these trading view indicators myself to encapsulate every one of the strategies that I give you. And the beautiful part about this is that these indicators are all part of our BK experience. 
you will never find them. You couldn't even look at them. They don't exist on TradingView. They're not public. They're private. So the bounce big will tell you, you know, yes, the trend is bullish. It's actually 1,800 um, candles long. So it's actually relatively long. Tells you the trade hours. Tells you tells you the um, um, uh, the the, the uh, uh, symbol that we're trading, which is the US 30, and it's trading, um, you know, 50 points, which in this case is 50, you know, 50 uh, 5,000 ticks because we're using uh, we're using um, a cap charts, right? So what you see here is if you took the first trade of the day, you'd be stopped out, and on the second trade of the day, you would resolve it, right? Now today, today was actually kind of a crazy day. It was Fomsi day, but um, the Fomsi didn't happen until till two, so it's actually legitimate. I would, you know, it's kind of a legitimate trade, and um, you could have taken this trade, and boom, you made your money. You made your money. Okay. Now I'm not going to show you any more examples because, frankly, um, all the, you know, for the last week and a half, it's all been red. The trend has been bearish. So There's just been no more big trades. But people love the big trade. The big trade is awesome because it's like one or two uh, a day, and I just made it a million times better. I've made it a million times better because not only do you not have to even watch the trading view indicators, right? We just wrote, let me show you this. We just wrote an MT5 EA that has big built into it. All you got to do is just literally select big as part of my you know, day trading strategy. You obviously choose your indicator, select your stops and targets, and this thing will automatically trade for you you can set the time. You can just go, let me go big here. You guys can't see it. Uh, you can go here. Yeah. Set the time of when you want to trigger this trade, right? You can trigger the trade between 6 and 12. Literally set it the night before. Go away. And if the trade is um, negative on the first level, it will automatically go to the second level. And it'll go to the third level. But if it's positive, if it makes money on the first level, it will just stop. So this thing will auto trade for you without you even thinking about it. That's my absolute killer um, thing that we just developed in BK that we're going to be that everybody in my room is going to be getting um, probably next week. So in addition to just watching it visually and trading it manually, you're not going to be able to do it fully semi-automatically. So that's big, okay? That's strategy number one. Now let's go to my strategy number two. Okay, go back to presentation mode. Get a little bit bigger. Okay, what, what do we go here? Wait, hold on. Did I screw this up? Yeah, sorry. Let me uh, just indulge me for a second. Oops, I think I, I went the wrong way. Okay, yes, I went the wrong way. I'm sorry, guys. Just just indulge me for a second. I, I um, Okay, here we go. The next strategy I'm about to show you is literally the money strategy. This strategy is so good that um, I think like last five guys who passed the test did nothing but this strategy. As a matter of fact, I have a whole we have a whole coaching course on how to use this one strategy. To get funded or just to trade once a day it's called end of day it's ridiculously simple but it is really my favorite strategy like if, if you're going to take away all my strategies and just say this is the only one you want to trade this is the one you want to trade so let me explain to you what end of day strategy is okay remember long only this is long only hardcore again us 30 nasdaq and you can by the way trade this for the s p um, as well, you know, if, if, if you trade S&P on a CFD basis, you can trade this as well. It really works on all of them, right? So here's what you do. We call end of day effectively the end of New York lunch. Because let me tell you what the assumption is. Um, and you tell me if, if my assumption is wrong. So far, it hasn't even come close to being wrong. The basic idea is the following. The stock market, like a fish, that you know wants to swim to the surface, wants to go up. Even on the worst, worst possible days, when there is just massive liquidation and selling, it wants to bounce. On the best possible days, it wants to rally into the close. On the worst possible days, it wants to bounce off the lows, right? That's the very simple, but very, very effective 
behavioral handicap of the U.S. equity market. And that process of either rallying or bouncing begins at 1300 hours New York. And we give ourselves all the way to 1600 hours to have the trade resolve. But very often it takes no more than just like, you know, the first half hour for it to happen. So the rule is this, all we do is, you know, um, we look at the one minute chart, we look for three consecutive highs or three consecutive lows against the eight period SMA. Now, if it's three consecutive highs, we call those, um, if it's three consecutive lows, we call those the dip, buy the dip, or if it's three consecutive highs, we call it buy the rip. So either buy the breakout or buy the breakdown, it doesn't matter. We don't care. The first signal that appears 1300 hours behind that, we're, we're all, all over that signal. And we trade that with a 40-40 stop and target on US 30 and a 20-20 stop and target on NASDAQ, right? Now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna get, get out of my um, PowerPoint. I'm gonna show you how this strategy trades, okay? Let's go to end of day, okay? Um, let's do this on NASDAQ and let me, sorry, let me just configure it because, because it's configured for futures. Oops, sorry, I screwed this up. Just bear with me a second. It's configured for futures. I need to configure it for, for CFDs. NASDAQ 100. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Now this is a ringer. I, it's, it's a ringer. If today is the FOMC. You wouldn't have done the strategy today, but I, I just want to show you. I just want to show you the mechanics of the strategy. Three consecutive lows, 1300 hours, New York, right? This is the red candle. You're buying over here, 1825, 1825. Your stop is 1805. You clear your stop. It only goes down to 1811. Your first trade is a winner. You are done for the day. All of this is just commentary. Ignore it. It doesn't mean you only do consecutive trades if you lose on the first trade, right? You're a winner. You're done. You're done. Let me show you how this worked yesterday, right? Because yesterday was sort of a much cleaner day because we didn't have FOMC. And then, um, and then I'm going to challenge you to give me a day, give me an instrument, and I challenge you to show me that it's that it's, that, that it can lose money. So this was yesterday again. First trade, 1317 red candle. I'm long. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. So. Anybody in either one of the rooms, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it like 30 seconds because I know I'm a little bit on, on delay in, in YouTube. You have a choice of US 30 or NASDAQ. That those are the two instruments you want to trade. Give me any date in the last two weeks. Obviously, it's got to be a, a working day. Um, and I will go to the chart. So I have no idea what day you're gonna give me. And I guarantee you, I will have made money on this strategy in the end of the day. Give me a um Give me a date. I'll wait. Either in uh, go to you guys and go to are a little bit ahead of me um, than those on on YouTube. So let me know what are you guys uh, thinking on YouTube. I know there's a little bit of a delay on YouTube, so um, I'll wait. Give me a date. A last Tuesday. What was last Tuesday? Dude, I, I need like a number. What's what's today? Today is Wednesday, so minus seven is 13. 12. Okay, 12, right? Okay, our two says he wants to go to the 12th, 12th of, 12th of March. So we're going to go last Tuesday. We're going to go to last Tuesday, and you were picking uh, NAS. So we're going to stay on NAS. Okay, last Tuesday, I didn't choose this date. I did not choose this number. I have no idea how it's going to play out, right? I'm going up to, I need to go up to 1300. Let's get up to 1300. Let's do auto fits. So the trade is over here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And I think I, you know what guys, I I think I need to go into replay mode. Yeah, because it's too far back. Let me just go back into replay mode. Okay, so we're in replay mode. Somebody asked for Tuesday and now we're coming into the one o'clock hour. I'm just gonna go slow with this, just slow it down a little bit so that you guys can follow. Okay, stop. Look, first trade. I didn't, I, 
literally make it hard for me. Make it hard for me to make money. Make it hard for me. Give me another date. Okay, first trade made money. First trade. Give me another date. 318 on Monday. Okay. Are we doing NASDAQ? Kevin, I'm going to do NASDAQ. Okay. I'm going to do NASDAQ. So let's do NASDAQ Monday the 18th. Go to the 18th. Oh, shit. Sorry. I got to go out of replay. Sorry. Yes. Now I got to go to the 18th. Okay. Go to 18. Okay. Let's go through here. Replay. And I'm sorry, a little bit early. So just you know, it'll go. It'll, it'll go a couple of hours. So so again, this is Monday the 18th. I'm looking for my end of day trade. Nothing is starting yet. You know, we're waiting for the 1300 hours. Here's 1300 hours. Stop. Okay, starting out. I'm gonna go. Keep going. Oh, got my first signal. So I'm gonna go slow just to make sure that you guys are following me. I'm gonna go slow. I'm gonna go slow. I'm gonna go slow. Oh, I got stopped out. Level one, stopped out. Great. Okay, let's go see what happens next. Next trade, next trade, next trade, next trade. Oh, oh, it took me two trades and I made money. Okay. I can do this forever, guys. I really, but, but trust me that this is literally the money trade in my arsenal. I absolutely love this trade. Yes, there may be a day when we're going to be eating you know, eating crow and I'll, and I'll have to suffer one losing trade. But in the meantime, I'm going to have days and days and days and days of winning trades. Okay. Um, I genuinely feel that, you know, I'm probably going to get clipped once every two months, but I can, but I can actually absorb one every once every month and still be completely net positive. But if I'm, you know, but, but if, if I'm sort of correct in my, in just sort of, you know, um, making sure that I'm coming in early, I'm getting the trades done, and I'm not trading anymore. I'm not. I'm not tempting fate any more than just one time on this on this rebound trade. Um, it's reasonable to think that you know that I could I, I could spend three months you know resolving every trade positively. No guarantees. The markets are always different. But this has been the absolute money trade. Okay. So that's end of the day. And I'll, I can show you a thousand examples in my room, but you know our time is limited. I know everybody wants to um, learn more. Now, the last thing I was going to tell you is, what's the coolest part about this? You don't even have to do the trade. I got the MT5 algo sitting in the in in, in the um, um, in the waiting for you. So we have end of day all set up. You just set it up. You hit the button, and it's just going to trade for you and stop the moment it makes money. That's the beauty of it. I got the MT5 algo waiting for you to trade this. OK, that's the really cool part. That's the really, really cool part. Aside from the trading view that I wrote, we now wrote the empty fives. OK. Now. Last of my of my day trading strategy, this is strictly for the degenerates. This is strictly for people who love the action. OK. And oh, did I not even oh, did I screw this up? Hang on a second, guys. Oh, look at this. Oh, I actually forgot one of the trades, guys. I forgot. I think I only gave you two two, two strategies. All right. Because you guys have been really, really good, I'm going to give you the third strategy. I didn't put the third strategy into my into my slides. Huh. I thought I did, but I guess I did not put the third strategy in my slides. Okay. So I'm going to actually show it to you on the charts. And again, this is for degenerates only. So uh, we love this. I day trade this literally every single day, but I am a guy who loves to, loves to, to, uh, to day trade. So let me show you what this strategy is all about. And by the way, this strategy was money today. Money, 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 money today. Okay. Let me show you how that trade traded traded today. Let me, uh, we're gonna do NASDAQ. I'm gonna I'm gonna do NAS 100. Okay, what's going on over here? Uh oh, I know why. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. But yeah, no, bias only. What's going on? Why didn't this? Is this it? Am I not in replay mode? Sorry, let me just double check what, what's happening here. Why this isn't? Uh, I don't know why this is. Oh, that's really really weird. Am I on the wrong? 
oh, I know why. Aha, of course I am on the wrong. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on um, futures. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, here's Nasdaq. Okay, I'm like, I'm like, why is this not showing up? I'm on the, I was on the wrong instrument. Okay, so I got the right instrument. I got everything set up. Okay, so this is a crazy strategy. And again, it's only for those people that want to scalp. Um, but it, by the way, it's also to, totally fully automated. So it's the, the cool part is all of this is, is very quantitatively uh, codable. So the idea here is, and I'm, and I'm only going to show you the long side. I'm going to show you the long trades. Is and the long trades are epitomized by these red candles. So the basic idea is you have the eight period moving average and you have the price stretch away from the eight period moving average by no less than seven basis points. Seven basis points is seven tenths of one percent. That's not a lot, but when it's on a one minute chart against an eight period moving average, that's a big stretch. And what we're looking for is it keeps stretching, 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 and eventually price always comes back to the moving average. So we wait until it comes back to the moving average after this big, big stretch, and we buy if it crosses the moving average. Boom, we're done. We're done. Level one, we're done, right? Next time we get a big, big stretch against the moving average, come back up, we buy, it stops us out. No biggie. We go back again, boom, we're done, right? And we just do this over and over and over again. Obviously, you know, we, I, don't, I don't scalp trade uh, past three o'clock in the um, in the afternoon because that's the end of the day. But and, and it's it's most the strategy is most optimal, um, you know. During obviously today there was there was no very little trading because because this was all this was you know you had a big move at the beginning of the day uh, when the market opened up a little bit of a bounce here that we caught um, and then you know not much going on because everybody was waiting for the FOMC there was there was really no price action over here. But if you're just mechanical, if you if you weren't even discretionary, if you're just like a robot, say I'm going to take every one of these uh, trades according to Boris um, up to five levels. You made um, 15 points, 15 points, uh, so 30 points, 45 points, 60 points, 75 points, 75 points with very very little heat most of the day, and you were trading obviously in a perfect perfect alignment with a really really bullish fed you just simply were buying every single breakout after you had a massive stretch away from moving average right let's take a look at the us 30 i have I literally have not looked at the us 30 today i have no idea how that traded and now i have to i'm going to set up us 30 us 30 we trade with a with a 2020 and that was even a, that was also great now us 30 had zero volatility look how little volatility it had today it was only like a couple of trades so that was 20 points 40 points 60 points, 80 points, 100 points. So what I say, there was 75 in NASDAQ, there was 100 points in, in US 30. If you're trading like, like me, super actively, think about that. That's 175 points during the day that you captured in incredibly uh, smooth markets. Now, is it always this way? No, sometimes you're gonna get two, three stop outs. You do, you have to be, you have to have the balls to, you know, to, uh, to trade the strategy continuously. But, it recovers. It, you re resolve these trades, and, and these trades add up. That's what I mean about day trading, converting uncertainty of the market into steady income. That's what we try and do: steady, consistent trades, because these trades resolve into identifiable, quantifiable uh, strategies. And of course, as I said to you, all of it going to be now. This this was actually me testing the scalper. You see, I was you know I was using tiny tiny size. That's a 15 point. See, first level it resolved and it stops. The moment it makes money, the algo stops. It's not like it keeps you going crazy in, in, into the into the account and um, trying to blow up your account. That's the beauty of quasi automatic trading that I'm going to be able to show you. So I bring all this up because everything that I just showed you, everything that I just showed you, all of it, all the good stuff, I want to offer it to you absolutely for free zero money we're making a deal where all you need to do if you want this the trading view indicators you want my daily live trading with me you want my coaching you want kathy's fx which i haven't even touched about kathy has her own fx strategy all that comes in um where she has made i think about 
1,600 pips over the last, um, 16 to 1,800 pips over the last 12 months. She aims for 100 pips a week. She has her own methodology, also incredibly consistent to trade FX. All of that, zero money to any of you guys. If you just open an account with our favorite broker, which is ACAP. Or if you already have an account with ACAP, just simply top the account. And it's very, very simple. 5,000 gets you six months of our services. 10,000 is by far the best deal. It doesn't get you 12, it gets you 18 months. So you get a year and a half of being in BK. You get everything with me, including the weekly coaching sessions. And if you wanna be a VIP, love to have you. We have a few of those on board and those people get one-on-one uh, -on -one ser coaching service with me. And I can I also get to show you how to set all this up one-on-one -on -one and, um, and do all this. So if you're at all interested in any of these services, I would love to have you. I'm gonna give you the link of where you could begin your, you know, start your account. I already actually, um, I was in trading view. Uh, I was in trading battle and somebody had already dropped an account and I already set them up. So I'm giving you a link in, uh, in YouTube. And I'm gonna give you a link in um, in GoTo, okay? Where are you guys? Where's my GoTo? And if you guys want to, please open an account. You're gonna open an account anyways, right? If you already have an account, there is zero reason why you're, you should have an account with another broker if you don't have a, an account with, with ACAP because ACAP has the best spreads, all the instruments, including crypto. I haven't even talked about how you can trade crypto with this. And um, you know, complete um, you know, complete flexibility. You can trade MT5, you can trade TradingView, you can do whatever you want. And I'm going to have the tools for you to trade um, MT5 or the tools for you to trade TradingView. Either way, I'm going to be able to to fully automate your whole your whole day trading process. So um, I hope you like it because it's literally more than fifteen thousand dollars worth of product. Costs you nothing, zero. Just open the account. Um, now I'm open to, um, yeah, so the only, so, the, uh, and I'm sorry, the, the, if you're a US trader, unfortunately you can't take advantage of this. Um, that's just, you know, uh, not my uh, not my say, it's a regulatory uh, break. I can't, I can't do anything for US traders, but everybody else across the world, this is the deal that I can offer, okay? So um, I'm open. To any questions you guys may have, um, anything that's on your mind, um, you know, if you're a U.S. trader, you have to just join us, um, our service. I'm happy, happy to do that. Um, and if you know, if you want to contact me personally, I'm happy to give you a discount on how you can, you know, join us on a discount. But if you're a non-U.S. Uh, uh, trader, it's it's just a it's an it's a slam dunk to be able to to get a hold of this. Okay. You don't like it? You can take your money out. Not, you know, nothing lost. You know, you you haven't you haven't done a, um, a thing. But obviously, uh, everybody who's kind of joins hangs out because they love they love the trading room. They love the experience. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the U.S. guys. But you know, they speak. You know, speak to your representative. Um, Steven says that end of day is really money. It is really money, absolutely. I mean, you know, I did, I don't listen to me, listen to the guys who trade in, in the room with me who are, all, who are all banking it all the time, okay? Anyways, um, hope you guys really, really liked it. Um, happy to um, to answer any questions or just simply, um, you know, email me when you guys are ready. And um, um, let me see if there's any questions here. And I'll just, you know, I'll just wait for a little bit um, to see if there's anything on both sides. There's no EA for sink or swim. No, it's an MT5 platform. M uh, ACAP is an, uh, is an is a MT5 platform. Um, where are you from, Mario? If you're non-US, if you're in Canada, you can you can trade this. You you, you can do all of this. Seattle, yeah. Guys, you know, I don't make the rules in the U.S. traders. That's uh, um, unfortunate. Um, 
rule of the US regulation. I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm not, uh, um, there's no offer. We're not sending an offer. This is just a deal. Okay. Link, link, I, uh, John, I gave the link. Let me, uh, let me give it again. Hang on, let me give it again. Here's the link. Okay. Yeah, no, I very welcome. And, uh, and you know, if you're a U.S. trader, you know, come just email me. I'll give you I'll give you a really really steep discount. You can come into the room. You can come hang out with us. Uh, you know, you know, it's not a lot of money to to, to kind of discover all of this stuff. And um, um, you know, it's a great deal. You know. But you know, I'll do I'll do it one on one with you guys on on the, on the U.S. basis. But everybody else, come on, guys, it's like it's it's a joke. Um, if you have an account, just transfer it from another broker. If you already have um, um, if you already have an Indicator account, just just top it, just top it off a little bit, and you'll you'll be good to go. Um, all right, I'm gonna leave you guys. Any questions, you can always you know you can always um, email me if you if you like. Um, this will be this is all recorded. I will you know I will uh, happy share it with you guys on, on a recording basis. And um, you know I'll see you guys uh, in the markets. Okay, everybody enjoy. Thank you so much for everything. And I hope you guys um, all have a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.